We have three days to explore the Churchill River system. The plan is to start at Devil's Lake Campground and paddle upstream to Muche Island the first day. On day two, we will paddle to Scouts Island and shoot some rapids before camping at Surf City. And on the third day, we'll head back downstream to the Otter Rapids Campground. We're up here in Northern Saskatchewan. We're doing a canoe trip, three nights out in the wilderness, no service. We got John Lauren, That's Tony, big. Matson, Kiefer, uh, Kev Kwan. <laughs> three canoes, six dudes. We'll try to come back with the same amount. The water is crystal clear, sun's out, blue sky, perfect day for a paddle. The first day we were paddling upstream, so when we came to some rapids, we had to portage, grab our canoes, carry all our stuff across the rapids where we jumped back in and kept paddling. Yeah, if you're ever going on a canoe trip, and you're taking cameras, don't go in the canoe with the cameraman because he's lazy. Pushing a little water. This is our campsite for the first night. It's kind of just first come, first serve for those campsites. And this one had a little table and uh, it was perfect. When you're out in the wilderness and you got no service and not a whole lot of things to do, you make your own fun. And Kev brought the, the throwing knives and we had a blast with them. Whoa! This killed me. First morning, the campsite. It's a good night last night. It's calm, cool. Yes, the night was collected. What do you got going on here, John? Crew find my water. <laughs> Have to stay hydrated to stations like these. <laughs> So on the second day, we headed upstream to find some rapids that we could shoot. We we're getting comfortable paddling in the lakes and we were ready for a bit more of a challenge. There were some parts where we could just kind of ferry across the river and there were some areas like this where they call it lining. You grab the rope on the front of the canoe and you kind of walk it up. Water's powerful. It was pretty close to like tipping in uh, some of our canoes with all of our stuff in it. So. Even when you're, you're lining up those rapids going upstream, you gotta be careful. Found a place to empty out our canoes and hit some rapids. We didn't wanna do it with our boats loaded because there's a good chance someone's gonna get dumped. And they did. And we did. So this is corner rapids. I call it corner rapids because at the very end there's a sharp right-hand corner. Oh, is there? Yeah. <laughs> Matson didn't know that. They uh, got swept by the water and basically pushed into this rock wall. We were a little bit worried for him. We got flipped. <laughs> Single man showing us how it's done. One guy in the canoe. Hey, since we didn't make the first ones, let's go for the bigger ones. John went first. We saw him wipe out, so we knew we were, we were screwed. Once we'd got our fix of paddling and tipping out of the canoe, we found a place to camp for the night, set up camp, and then jumped in some rapids to cool off. Matson caught his first fish. First fish I caught and eat. I caught a fish before. Did you catch any after that? <laughs> 6,000 more casts, nothing. That was my first fish that I caught that we were gonna eat, as well as first fish I've ever filleted. So Anderson was showing me the ways. 
Now, I'm no professional filleter, but we got her done. It was really good, too. So the third day, our weather wasn't quite as good. We woke up, it was drizzling rain a little bit, uh, and we had a long way to paddle, so we had to hit the road to get our canoes down Surf City. We rode them before loading up, and it's a good thing because a few of us flipped. Here goes Tony and Keith. Woo! Oh, oh! You guys wearing like your hoodies and everything? They had so much confidence in themselves that they wore all their clothes and rain jackets. So, for the rest of the day, all their clothes are soaked. I was trying to brace. I know, I know, I know. I did put us there. It is raining hard. Before it was drizzling, but now it is an absolute torrential downpour. We're getting soaked. The raindrops are literally bouncing off the lake and splashing up in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's aggressive. Oh my God. We're thinking if it's gonna keep pouring like this all night, we, uh, we better find some place with shelter. We finished in the exact same area about 10 years ago with my family. There was a campsite with uh, a shack and it had a tin roof. And so that's where we decided to go. Got some firewood, made a nice fire, warmed up a little bit in there. And the rain stopped, got blue skies. So we headed back outside to do some fishing. On our way to jump off the bridge. So I'd heard stories of like my dad and my uncles and like my, my grandpa even jumping off this bridge. It was kind of iconic to me and I was like, when I came here 10 years ago, I didn't do it. And so I wanted to do it. This is gonna be epic. Maybe a stupid thing to do, but, but we did it. Twice. My mom always told me, if your friend jumps off a bridge, would you? And I did, so yeah. yes. Such a good friend, right? <laughs> this was our last night. Fried up a couple fish we had got that day, cooked some Smokies, and then hung out, played some cards, drank some beers, called her a night. Well, it's been a solid three days here on the Churchill River. We're packing up. The trip is over. We're heading home. See you next time. Tune in to ETA next time for another epic trip adventure. Tell us what you saw. <laughs> Big spider. And how did you react? Not well. <laughs>